Welcome everybody to this video. This video is going to show you three methods that I use uh, to help get some of that smoke sediment off of your engravings and uh, make them look really clean and sharp. So I'm going to go over three different techniques. Uh, the first is masking and then the other two are for after your engraving just trying to remove that smoke buildup. Um, and when each one of them is kind of more appropriate to use. So you'll see here's kind of a before uh, engraving, before I cleaned it, and this is an after, and there's a huge difference in quality and how they look. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first method I wanna show you is masking tape. Masking tape is kind of a preventive measure you take uh, to stop that sediment from settling onto your wood. Uh, you could find this low-tech masking tape on Amazon or maybe a local supply store, and you should be able to get a squeegee as well to go along with it. That'll help apply the masking tape to the wood. So for this example, normally I would glue, glue up a, a whole board, but I'm just gonna show you a small piece at a time, um, and that should kind of give you the good idea. So go ahead, when you're applying this tape, you wanna use that squeegee to get all the air bubbles out of it, so that way it's sitting on there uh, nice and tight with, um, you know, no room for movements or anything. You don't want to trap the heat between the layers because it'll actually have an opposite effect. So the best time to use masking tape uh, is for simple designs and reason being is you don't want to sit there and weed out all those little pieces of the tape for something intricate. So when you're doing a simple design, keep in mind it might be easier to use masking tape ahead uh, and save yourself the, the, the cleaning that has to do with it afterwards. So you'll see with that layer of masking tape on top, you see all the smoke that built up right there. We'll be able to peel that off and actually um, underneath will be nice and clean and you won't have pretty much any evidence of any smoke that was there. So, I mean, nice simple design and a great way to keep that smoke off of your wood. The next method I'm gonna show you is for more intricate designs with a little bit more detail. You'll see with this old Lego I'm using of mine, um, it has a lot more white pockets in between. And those are the pieces of tape that'll be left behind if you were to mask it. So um, for this scenario, it's actually better to have uh, a, a way to clean off that smoke afterwards. And um, it still will be faster than having to peel all that tape off. So um, you'll see there's tons of smoke and I'm gonna show you you know, two different ways to basically get that stuff off. So the first method I use for taking that smoke off after it's done engraving is Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. I'm not sure what it is about this eraser, but it really does work wonders and magic. Um, something about the texture of this sponge really gets that, that soot and sediment right off. So um, basically just get it a little bit wet, squeeze off any excess and give it a thorough wipe down. Um, if you look between the two here, you'll see the one with the smoke on the right and then the one that I just cleaned off. And there is a huge difference with almost no effort basically put into to getting that off. You'll see it's very fast, very effective, and honestly, one of my favorite ways to do it. The last method I wanna show you is um, sanding it, basically. This is one of the most widely used methods of getting that smoke off of it. Um, I like to use a soft sanding sponge with medium grit. It's just a lot easier to hold in your hand. You don't have to worry about a big sanding block or anything. Uh, and it works really good on small or even large pieces. So the first way I, I go about doing it, especially for smaller stuff, is I use the flat, bigger face side. And then um, after I have kind of the bulk of it done, I'll go in and just give it a nice uh, like power scrub with the sides of the sanding sponge. Um, and it really kind of just finishes it off for me. You want to make sure you wipe off all that excess, basically. It'll kind of get stuck inside those pockets of engravings and kind of make it lighten up a little bit. So just give it a nice wipe down and you'll see that the sanding sponge produces a pretty nice and crisp result. And there you have it. Those are three ways that I use to kind of get that smoke off or to prevent that smoke from ever coming on. So on the left side, you'll see the results of Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser. The center is the simple design that we used as a preventive measure with masking. And the right side we used with that soft medium grit sanding sponge. All three produce fantastic results. So if you get a chance, go ahead and give them a try.